Oh my god, I loved it. It was so, so wonderful. So clever. I laughed so much that I was crying. I love Jane Austen, but I'd never been to any improv before, so that was my first time. I really loved it. I'll definitely have to come back. Please put your hands together for esteemed Jane Austen scholar, Dr. Sam Patton. There's so much we think we know about Jane Austen, but she did actually write 796 novels. The unusual tale of the man with no face. Grime and punishment. Pemberley Hills Cop. But the scones are on fire. Of course, we just don't have time to do them all. But the novel we will be performing this evening is Jane Austen's beautiful novel. That's not Alan! <laughs> it is as if anything could happen. <laughs> Sensational. They're all fantastic. And I can't wait to come and see them again. So obviously it'll be different. I pray now that we have this long journey ahead of us. How would you advise me to grow into the man you wish I was? Eat turnips! <laughs> Right? Yes. Do you like a glass of water? No. Good. <laughs> I wouldn't have got you one. When they kiss. Always. Yes. Happy ending. If you would want it, I would wish us to be more. If a friend can ever be more than a friend, then I wish that these friends be more than the friends that they were. <laughs> Charles, you speak too much. <laughs> Boys, no sense of candor, of heart, of distinction. I married so low. Margaret. Just have one name. Ah, uh, yes. Too poor for anything else. Of course. Daniel, you look as fine as any lady man I've ever seen. Thank you. I don't know whether to kiss it or shake it, so... <laughs> Father, join me by the fire. Thank you. It is most kind of you to move an arthritic man away from his chair. <laughs> this is probably my seventh time. Every time it's completely different. Cast still stay great. And it's hilarious, like, without question, every time. Wouldn't be standing here you killed me. No. <laughs> well, you might be if we'd had you stuffed. <laughs> I can't go hurt it. <laughs> All the different characters, they managed that really, really well between them. It was really funny. You're going to be fine. Dr. Menken's coming in. He'll tell it to us straight. You're us not going to be fine. <laughs> Was he any use? I don't know. Get him again for clarification. We basically got in and immediately booked tickets for the next one. Yeah. Yeah.